Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. In our last episode, we won our war against the Velmanax Interstellar Empire, and we actually managed to fulfill all of our war goals, which was to uh, claim Dirum over here, as well as plunder them. So we got like a thousand energy credits, as well as a thousand minerals and all that stuff, and life is good. For now, at least. Um, in this episode, I think we will try to um, figure out why my keyboard controls aren't working. First of all, um, hello. What the fuck? There we go. Okay, that was really weird. Maybe the game was auto saving or something. Um, anyways, um, so I think in this episode we will try to uh, maybe expand our borders up north a little bit try to stabilize somewhat more um, especially with the unrest and whatnot um, right we don't have a science officer there well why don't you train this guy up for now and then we'll see where that goes oh right we should also try to um, build up our fleets again and then maybe go to war with the Tebrid homolog here uh, cautious crayfish. Um, can you do anything else in the meantime? Uh, maybe. You know what? Go ahead and research the insidious Snarin. Um, while we have uh, temporary access to these guys' territory. Because we might lose that soon. Um, someone closed their borders to us. Wait. Why did these guys close their borders to us? I mean, they don't hate us. Or I guess their opinion of us is kind of going down. They don't like that we're barbaric despoilers or that we have uh, slavery. Alright, well, be a jerk. A small short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Nembus 4A. It appears to be an ancient survey marker, placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived, the, the deposit is still here. Great. Uh, Nimble Karak. Let's actually have you... Oh wait, we don't have enough influence right now. Alright, well fair enough. Not much I can really do Star about that. Charted. Um, sunken reliquary. Can we build anything else right now? No. We kind of need to have our population grow somewhat more. There's unemployment here, and that's because of that. Right, that's gone complete. now. Okay, I think we might also want to um, upgrade complete. some of our uh, star bases here to, what's it? Uh, star fortresses? Yeah, we should have enough uh, minerals to upgrade some of these at the very least. And you know what? We need you guys to be doing something. That's in Dorfil. Uh, I don't know if we necessarily need another shipyard there. But it might not be a bad idea. And Unith. Um, Unith, Dorfil. Well, there's a shipyard here. Um, and that's not a shipyard. You know what, Dorfil? Maybe we will turn this into a shipyard. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. And then we'll build... You know what? We'll build all that other stuff once the other place is, uh, is uh, ready. Or all, all the other stuff has been built. Anchorage is here will be good. And Dirum is upgrading to a Starhold. Star so soon we should be able to get uh, more trading complete. hubs and whatnot built. Great. And let's also get an off-world trading company. Complete. Okay, sure, research that. And we might as well build the trading hubs there too. And Seoul is already fully upgraded. Um, should we build something else here? Something that's good for peacetime, maybe? Complete. I don't know if a listening post is a good idea. Complete. I'd say let's hold off on that for the time being. Um, Kamiya, let's build more trading hubs. Atmospheric Ecosystem. We have discovered a thriving ecosystem in the upper atmosphere of the gas giant Zimatulon 4. Massive floating creatures having evolved bodies filled with lighter-than-air gases 
follow the wind currents and feed off the energy released by the gas giant's frequent lightning storms. These beings in turn support colonies of smaller animals that prey on atmospheric, pl atmospheric plankton and each other. Great. Um, I have noticed that our society research is not quite as advanced as uh, engineering or physics, especially, so we might want to investigate that and uh, possibly invest in more of that uh, and whatnot. Star system charted. All right, so I guess we'll build the fleet star academy here. Charted. And sure, why not upgrade this to a star fortress afterwards? Military action by an unknown force destroyed the Ransomere pirates. Miraculously, the Mantoid captives managed to break out and steal a lifeboat during the attack and are now well on their way back to Abysmal. Whoa, okay, well, um, that, I guess, was really lucky that that happened. And I guess, I think they were over here? That means that maybe the uh, pirate dudes might have actually uh, run into them, which Technology is secure. kind of hilarious. And, uh, Dirum, since you're building trading hubs, we might as well upgrade you to Star Fortress as well. And so site research, I think maybe going with neural implants might be a good idea. That way we can uh, reduce our unrest and all that stuff too. Um, yeah, sure, let's go with that. Typhoon, um, we require about 5,000 uh, minerals to fully reinforce. And same thing with Red Tide. Slaves rally on Drifting Isle. Oh, come on, you guys. Get off your high horses. Slaves pacified on Sunken Reef. Fantastic. Hey, look at that. No more unrest. Very nice. Very, very nice. We only have the one stronghold, right? Oh, no, we have two. Never mind. My bad. Engineering research. Construction templates. We'll increase our building build speed by 50%. Um, sure, let's go for it. That's 70 months. Good grief. Oh, well. Hey, look, we can actually build another star base now. Um, kind of wondering where we should build one next. So we've got three shipyards. Um, maybe we should actually turn the one on Seoul into a shipyard type thing. That way we'll always have one in our capital. And then, um, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's not super, super important, but I feel like it kind of is, but maybe it isn't. I don't know, guys. Um, maybe it might be a good idea to have more energy. Or maybe we can just hold off on it for the time being. Yeah, it might be a good idea to just hold off on it for the time being. Um, and I think we Special might want project. to perhaps invest in some defenses. Might be a good idea. Sneron secured. Sneron's are large burrowing creatures that live beneath the dunes of the vast equatorial deserts on Satatoni 2. When these predators sense movement in the sand above, they immediately raise dozens of tall spikes from their backs in the hope of impaling something something edible. Finding a suitable specimen proved difficult at first until hundreds of tracked remote-controlled drones were dispatched across the desert in random directions. This led to the discovery and procurement of an unusually large specimen that had grown more than a hundred spikes on its back. So it's kind of like the uh, hydralisks um, or the you know, the upgraded versions of the Hydralisks or whatever from uh, StarCraft Brood Wars. All right, let's try building a defensive complete. Um, platform around Hekka. I want to see how this actually started. lays itself out. Uh, Dirum is upgrading. Let's have you guys all upgrade, complete. actually. This might be a good idea. Construction complete. Um, okay, so you've got a defensive platform. Oh, okay, so it's just right next to uh, the actual thing. Okay, Star interesting. Um, Technology secure. Sure. Uh, wormhole travel is now available. Let's go with more energy, please, and thank you. That way, once we have all our stuff upgraded, we should be 
able to kind of like hopefully coast a bit more if that makes any sense all right so then afterwards we'll um, upgrade the uh, shipyards too might be a good idea and speaking of all that let's have you do some more research and splashing sailfish you should do some research as well um yeah, let's get these guys building more mining stations and expanding our borders. Build that star base there. Ah, and you might as well build a star base there so that we can take advantage of the uh, eight mineral generation. And let's also uh, close that off so that we don't have any stupid ass pirates and shit um, spawning over that side. Complete. Oh, so what's happening with you guys? Why are you at zero out of zero again? It's very frustrating. Non-aggression pact broken. The Mandasura have apparently broken the non-aggression pact that they have with my uh, allies here. The consolidated Larongo Worlds. Great. Um, wait, they've entered into another one? What the shit? You guys just pulling my leg? Complete. Good grief. These guys are jerks. Just fucking around like that. Water Nymph, you built that. That's great. Complete. Let's have you build some more over there. Uh, Nimble Karak. Sure, build the mining stations as well as the research stations afterwards. Okay, so Altair is upgrading to a Star Fortress. All of these places are actually upgrading to Star, star Fortresses. Perfect. Charted. Let's go for Star Fortress in one of our uh, shipyards. And I think we should be on a good, good path. Yeah, we've got the trading Star hubs, which is, I think, partly um, why we're no longer in the negative with our uh, energy generation. Um, there don't appear to be a ton of uh, peacetime building that, buildings that we can build. Curator think tank increases Star energy or uh, research stuff. So we require a curator enclave in the system, and we require a diplomatic agreement with a local curator enclave. Right, Beth aliens, that's nice. I'm sure Beth appreciates being called an alien. Thanks, guys. Construction complete. Let's build the fleet academy there too. And we might as well build the fleet academy in that one. And there's still unrest. Complete. Unrest in the mooring, most likely Anomaly because fire. of the... Um, rampant amount of uh, slavery that's going on. We might need to sacrifice some of that crap for... Uh, some of the scientific crap for other stuff. Damn it! It's all got fucked up again. Dang, dang, dangity dang. Social experiment. A small aerostat colony was found floating just above the atmosphere on Faltus 6. It appears to have been self-sufficient and remains from several different species were found on board. As best as we can tell, the colony was some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago that ultimately ended with the colonists massacring each other. We have downloaded all the data found in the colony's limited data banks. Fair enough. I mean, I think I'd probably do the same if I were locked in uh, with Star other people. System Just charted. massacre them. Is that a little charted. telling of me, maybe? Uh, can you do more automatic exploration? Oh, come on. Alright, I guess you guys are just gonna have to uh, bugger on back over to my territory in some mysterious way or another. Okay, so we've got slave processing stuff done. We can go ahead and increase our naval capacity. Um, which might not be a bad idea. Not that we really need the naval capacity right now, but... Um, sure. Fleet support. And then we'll uh, research the complete. stuff that we uh, already have partial data on. See here. Let's have you span over that complete. way. Ornery Oyster. I guess you're about done complete. there, so why don't you guys just, you know, teleport on backwards. Backwards? Back home is what I meant to say, but, complete. you know, backwards works too. Um... We might need to maybe reform our thing here, or I don't know. Damn it, what the hell? Why didn't I get a notification about that? Unbelievable. Found. All right, go ahead and research that. Complete. 
And I'm still not sure where we want to build our star base. Or, sorry, not our star base, rather, but, uh, our... Yeah, upgrade our star base and all that. Alien Barracks. The silhouettes, discernible from orbit, are indeed buildings, and closer inspection reveal them to be of an obvious martial nature. While abandoned for some time, though very recently on a gigantic timescale, science officer Verthok Bowsprit believes that the secrets of the alien tactics may yet to be exhumed from beneath the dust that covers the decaying barracks and looted armories. A special project may be issued. Alright, where is this? Sure, I guess you might as well research that before you bugger off. That's good. Void cloud, space amoebas. I don't think we've actually encountered any uh, leviathans yet, which is... I'm not gonna lie, a little uh, terrifying. I'd rather we know kind of where they are. There's a lot of space amoebas. I kind of wonder if maybe they're actually the same uh, fleet. Quote-unquote fleet. But just, um, you know, moving around. Science officer Verthok Bowsprit, oh sorry, Bowsprit, Bowsprit? Um, anyways, his thorough xeno-historical analysis of the military installation on Dwithim 6A has yielded few tangible results. The base was constructed before the planet turned completely barren, but it is unclear as if, if its current hospitality, sorry, inhospitality, is a result of armed conflict or some more peaceful or even natural process. What can be deduced of their st strategies and tactics in armed conflict does not seem to have been far in advance of our own. On the upside, science officer Verthok Bowsprit, Bowsprit claims to have drawn much inspiration from the alien remnants. Alright, so he became a military theorist, which is good for him, I guess. Okay, so what would that being all fucked up and shit? I don't know if I can really um, reinforce these guys properly here. Communications. Okay, there we go. See, complete. that was more audible this time, guys. Secured. More audible. Uh, Water nymph, let's have you. Right, we need more influence. Give me a sec, then. Um, so I guess we can go ahead and upgrade our. Uh, energy buildings, which I think the uh, mod, the auto build mod, should already do. Construction fantastically. Complete. And we're sitting pretty in terms of our resources. Um, right. Drought. The unstable climate on the mooring has resulted in a severe drought that affects a significant portion of the planet. Colonists living in those regions have asked Abysmal for financial aid to improve living conditions. All right, sure. Well, I don't want them to get pissed and all that crap. And let's have you guys move your home base over to, I think, maybe Altair? Wait, which one of these is the, um... Okay, so Heka is the, uh... Is the, um... The shipyard. That's what I was, uh, looking for. So let's have you guys go back or go over to Heka. And then I think we'll probably get started on our attack on the Tebrid Homolog. Uh, can you do more complete. automatic exploration? Okay. Um, energy output increased by 5%. Trading hubs produce an additional plus uh, one energy. For shipyard build speed, building build speed. Let's go with um, energy output. Not bad. It actually went up by Star 50, which is charge. awesome. We lost our Admiral. Um, sublight Star speed, evasion. Let's go with the evasion, dude. Sure. Complete. Better do a good job there, buddy. I got my eye on you. And, um, I guess, sure, if you reinforce, what happens? Okay, so they're building a whole bunch of corvettes complete. as well as, I think, everything that needs to be built. All right, I guess that's not a bad thing. Um, and then once we have the money, we'll go ahead and reinforce these guys, too. Although, I think we might actually hit our naval capacity before anything else, which is not great. Ordinary Oyster, can you do more automatic exploration? Same with you guys. And Cautious Crayfish. Oh, you guys need to come back home. Alright, cool. Build. Build. And complete. you guessed it. Build. Please and thank you. Construction Water complete. Nymph, can you please build the 
Shit. All right, you stop, and let's have you build there Star instead. That way we can take advantage of the great complete. mineral generation that's happening there. Um, in the meantime, in the meantime, rather, Red Tide is being reinforced, and Typhoon, I believe, we're still waiting for money before we can have them fully reinforced. Not that I think the game is actually keeping proper track of complete. who's being reinforced or whatever, but Construction sure. complete. Okay, uh, we might need to get Technology some of these places secured. repaired. I wonder if the uh, auto build mod does that by itself or I need to do it auto, um, manually. Interlinked support systems? Sure, barrier point defense sounds good. It's an upgrade to the uh, flat cannons and, or, sorry, I guess that's not flat cannons, but point defense uh, buildings that we already have. Construction sure. complete. Um, yeah, you guys can you guys can just hold off for the time being. I don't think there's any real. Oh, we can actually build two more star bases. Wow, wow, we wow. Um, I wonder. Okay, so we might be able to. Is this? in the nebula or how do we tell if these guys are in a nebula i know there's the weeping ghost nebula here um right and these guys i'm assuming are not in the nebula because in the past nebulas were a lot more you know well nebulous and thus it was a little easier for us to tell where exactly they were Okay, I see. So you kind of have to like hover your mouse uh, over them in order to tell if whether or not um, that system is in fact in a nebula or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't appear that uh, there's any nebulas here. And the reason I'm checking is because I believe there's a star base building um, that lets you make minerals out of a nebula. Uh, nebulae. That would have been really cool, but... I guess there's not much we can really do right now. I can go for some more food generation, which I guess would be helpful, but not entirely necessary, right? Sure, why don't you build more shipyards there? Sounds good. Incoming Wasari raid. These fucking assholes. Alright, fine. If they want to tussle with me, so be it. I believe last time they came in through Halax over here. So let's have our dudes uh, get in over there t in defense. In preparation, that is. Star system charted. Uh, great. Do we know exactly where they are, or are we just kind of like guessing? I'm assuming we're just guessing, which I guess is understandable. We have no visual on them right now, so, you know. Star system charted. Um, oh right, we can actually terraform these places. Well, let's go ahead and terraform the uh, tropical place into an ocean world. Tundra, I believe we might be able to um, terraform this into an alpine world. Or we can go for an ocean world and cost more money and time. Well, I think we want our mantis people to be on this as opposed to the fungus people. So let's go ahead and turn this into an ocean world. And I guess, um, we'll see if we can maybe, aha, Batharian Stone, let's trans or terraform this too. It's gonna cost us an arm and a leg, but uh, thankfully we have lots of arms and lots of legs. Arid World? Hmm. Suspiciously empty for some reason. Continental one would be a lot, a lot easier for us to convert into an ocean world. But I think for now... Star system charted. Yeah. Complete. Can you guys get upgraded, actually? Yeah, sure. Why don't you move over to Shetty and then get upgraded. And then... Um, we'll move on from there. Cautious Crayfish. Go ahead and do some more research. Um, can you expand up that way? Sure. See here, you might as well do the same. And Water Nymph. Build stations... Please. Thank you. Okay, so we're actually about to hit the limit um, with these guys. Now, once they get upgraded, do we get to Star do away with the charted. unseemly um, nonsense over here? Oh, look at that. 
That looks so clean and fantastic. Holy crap. That is just majestic. Construction complete. Very nice. Very, very nice. Typhoon. We still need to autoboat some stuff. Let's have you guys get reinforced. Enemy presence exposed. Uh -huh. They are... Whoa! 8.9 thousand? That's a lot more than before. Crap all over it. What the hell, man? Construction. Complete. Where are they actually headed, though? Moving to Dirham. Well, that's not good. Uh, can we actually have you build some more defenses? How many defenses can we actually build here? Apparently 12. Holy crap. Alright, well, let's have you guys get in over here and then uh, try to defend at Dirham. In the meantime, we will go ahead and build the shit out of these defense platforms in the hopes that maybe they will do something against the oncoming uh, um, pirates and all that shit. Which I'm hopefully thinking that maybe. Station under attack. Oh no! The Here they come. All right, let's go crush their faces in. It appears that we might actually stand a chance against them. Star system. Good, charges. good. So far, so good. And it appears that we've lost our fleets entirely. Complete. Oh no! Not entirely. It appears that they've gone. Um, somewhere. Well, if they can come back, we might be able to defend against the uh, remaining... Oh, you know what? Technology oh no, secure. we're gonna lose, aren't we? Oh shit, the health just regenerated or something. Whoa. Whoa! Star I think we won charged. this, guys. Holy shit. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I don't know what happened here, but... Complete. Apparently we've uh, won against them. Raiding fleet destroyed. The Wasari fleet that vowed to raid our space has been destroyed as a result of, the f of a fleet action in the DRM system. No survivors have been reported found amongst the debris. Nice. Uh, can we have a science ship come back and do some debris research here, if you guys don't mind? Thank you very much. Alright, you guys can um, just make sure to... You know, construct yourselves complete. up and all that crap. See here, build the mining stations and water nymph. That's an alpine world, which we can probably have our fungus people possibly colonize. Um, next research step, I'd say let's go with a physics lab, maybe. Increase our research generation. And I think we might need to do the same with the engineering stuff. Or maybe we should go for a flak battery. Living metal, 186 months, crazy long. I think maybe flak battery might not be a bad idea. Or no, let's, yeah, you know what? Star system let's charges. make our engineering uh, research a lot easier um, farther down the road. Typhoon, Technology let's have you guys get upgraded. Red Tide, Vessels do the upgraded. same. Vessels our naval capacity upgraded. has been increased, fantastic. We can increase it again. Or we can try to maybe get some tile blocker, blocker clear and stuff, which I think also might be a good idea. Complete. Right, so you guys have been upgraded. Let's charted. have you reinforce. Um. What? Okay. Star were they advertising or were they threatening us? I honestly have no idea what the fuck they were even saying. I feel like maybe they were advertising, but I could be wrong about it. Construction complete. Uh, you guys can upgrade that shit on your own. You're good. Right, these are the tile blockers that we want cleared. Complete. Okay, um... Door fill, that is... Right. It's been, it's a, um... Star Fortress. Well, I don't know if we necessarily want to upgrade Star those just right charted. now. Construction complete. We've actually managed to upgrade all these... Um, other ones into star fortresses, which is crazy considering that the star fortresses cost 2,000 minerals to make But somehow we've managed We'll build the trading hubs there and Defense platforms nice Yeah, I don't know what else to build there The pious mesh bend state what about these guys? What have they done? They're inferior 
but also equivalent. Inferior. We could actually declare a war against these guys and try to uh, maybe... Can we subjugate them? I think we need a different tradition for that, right? Domination? Yeah, right now we're going down the prosperity path, so there's not much we can really do there. And these guys are pathetic in comparison to us. Well, um, I'm not quite comfortable attacking them just yet. And it appears that we've actually lost our glorious leader. Um, Xenophile ethics attraction? Not a great idea. Charismatic? Resilient? Population growth speed and happiness? Might be a bad idea there either. Outpost build cost, monthly unity, trade attractiveness. Well, we don't really trade with anyone. I would like the uh, weapons damage, but hmm, I'd say let's just go with this guy. We can't because we don't have the influence. Oh crap! All right, um. Star Our glorious leader was, I believe, actually reducing the uh, unrest in Star our slave-controlled areas. But... Is this the guy that we wanted? Oh, it is! Wow! Okay, wow. That, um... That worked out. Fantastically. So much so that, that I had to say wow twice. Apparently, I'm starting to sound like Owen Wilson over here. Uh, Water Nymph? You know what to do, man. You've done this a million times. Let's have you guys also expand. And Nimble Karak? I guess you'll have to complete. wait. Okay. Stars so I think we'll end the episode off here for now. Alice we'll come back tomorrow exited. and then I think we should be hopefully ready to take on the uh, the Tebrid Homolog. Although I feel like we probably could have done that um, now regardless. But just in case, right? Okay, so are you guys building stuff over here, or what's the deal, yo? Construction complete. Aha! Look, Vessels we've actually managed upgraded. to terraform this. Fantastic. Complete. Um, of course, we are actually close to hitting our uh, limit, which isn't great. Um, are we converting this by any chance? I have no idea. I don't think so. Let's forget that desert world. Actually, no, let's not forget this desert world. Because if we terraform this into an ocean world, that shouldn't actually count towards our um, system limit. Because it's, it's already in a system that we control or have a colony in, right? Technology I think that's how secured. it works. Alright, well, uh, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and then uh, hopefully go to war with the Tebrid or the uh, Valmanax or maybe even both. But probably not. Not at my pace anyways. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.